Right, this is just a quick overview of SR tools and, well, all of these are in the making and will come soon when I decide to dedicate more time. But the uh, kernel extension tools is, for lack of a better word, kind of complete. So what we'll do is we'll just run it and I'll take you through what it is and how it works. Um, now I've been playing with this uh, MSR dumper kernel extension which just measures P states and uh, outputs them into um, the kernel log but nevertheless it is a kernel extension and in SR tools we've got three tabs we've got the installer tab which is where we do most of our install work uh, we've got a history tab which keeps track of what we've done so that we can undo quite easily if anything ever goes wrong of which we've got two ways to undo we can hit this undo button down here or we can boot into single user mode and run a nice little script uh, so if you run it once it will uh, you know remove the last thing that you did just in case you have a no boot scenario when you're installing or playing with kernel extensions and then we've got system library uh, extensions which lists all of the kernel extensions currently uh, on my machine and if they're in use so we can see that MSR dumper is here it is in fact loaded and it's controlled by SRT which is uh, you know the tool set and its state is enabled so uh, what I can do here is I can disable it quite easily just by hitting disable now uh, we can see that it's now disabled and what in fact it's done is it's added another action that it can undo if for instance we didn't like it so it actually says you know I disabled it here if we just go through this really quickly I installed it and then I replaced it and I kept replacing it I enabled disabled I replaced and I disabled it but I can undo my last action quite easily um, or what I can actually do is, let's just say I went into single user, which dumps me in a super user prompt, and we'll just get to the root. Oops, clear. I can actually run a script, which is dynamically generated, which would be SRT restore last. If I run that, it's actually just rolled me back and undid my last action. So if I go to the history now, we can see that it, it's actually gone, the fact that I disabled that. So if we go into here, we can see that, and I just hit refresh, uh, we can see that it's now actually, you know, it's rolled it back and it's enabled and it's still controlled by um, uh, SRT. Um, some other information that we can use this uh, SLE panel for is it tells us which of these uh, kernel extensions are in fact just injectors in other words they don't have any binary things and we can also do searches so I can say uh, you know is my Apple graphics power management loaded and I can see that it is and it's in use I can say do I have all my Nvidia things and loaded that I uh, you know loaded and active that I need and yes I do there they are, the GF100 hardware application layer, and the 50 is also enabled. And I can disable these as well, but obviously it's not recommended for me at this time. So you can do a lot of damage with this uh, tool if you really want. There's also package kernel extensions, which are, and system package kernel extensions, which follow a different kind of... Um, Let's find a sys one. Here we go. Which follow a kind of different suit for a kernel extension because there are many kernel extensions or a library of kernel extensions rather than just the one. Um, so let's go to history and install. In fact, let's install something else. We'll install a new version of MSR Dumper over our current one. And what I'm just going to do is enter a name for it. So I'm going to call it test. Um, P states, oops, P states. And if I really want to, I could add some notes as well, and I could say, you know, uh, this is to test P states. I just choose OK, and then install yes. Um, and that just means it's actually added a name rather than just a date stamp. Uh, and it's also added these little notes here. Um, you know, this is just to test P states. So I've, I've installed it. Um, again, if I want to undo in single user mode, it's just restore last. 
Now let's say I got into a position where I got into a no boot scenario and it was the fault of or you know this this kernel extension I just wanted to undo all the way to the um, to the end I could easily do it in single user mode just by running this script multiple times until it says I can't do anything else. Um, there's also two little buttons here which give you optimization um, controls for the amount of history if it gets out of hand. Um, I mean, it doesn't it doesn't keep this in memory or anything. So these are these are actually read from disk. So I could say keep the last five, and what that will do is it'll just keep the last five actions that I've got. So if I say yes, it'll just you know it'll keep the last five things. Or I could say well actually. Um, all I want is I don't want this or anything before it. I could say remove all before selected and it just goes. Um, so it's a way for me to trim um, you know the uh, the history that I'm keeping. Um, and obviously you know I can add multiple kernel extensions to uh, to this and do them in sets and give them names and make sure that I know you know what's going on but Let's say we're in single user mode and I want to restore all the way back to when I just, you know, let's say I used the kernel extension tools to install most of my kernel extensions. Uh, but later on I decided, no, I don't want any of the things that I've done in, uh, you know, the kernel extension tools. I can just say restore last, restore last and keep going until now it says, you know, there is nothing found, no backups found, soz. Um, and I know that now, you know, in history, there there is nothing, and I'm back to the last action that this thing stored. Now, obviously, if I remove actions, it wouldn't have gone all the way back to you know having no MSR dumper in there. Um, but it's it goes back as far as it can to whatever history you've kept. So in theory, if you kept all history, you could just and and, and only ever install kernel extensions via this tool. You could just keep running that script multiple times until you know you undo all your changes. Um, and as I say, you know things like uh, let's choose a safe one. Oh, I know that I haven't got an eyesight uh, camera, so I'll disable uh, the eyesight kernel extension. You know, in history now it said you know that's that's what I've disabled. I can undo my last action, and unfortunately I'll have to refresh it. But we can see that now it's back enabled and ready for use. And that's um, SR tools, kernel extension tools, and hopefully I'll be uh, populating these. But if you've got any comments about this tool or want anything added or you find any bugs, uh, let me know. Um, and I shall see what I can do. And there you go.